Hey there. Okay, this is just a, uh, an odd little observation I thought it was worth uh, mentioning. I've just, uh, well, I'm looking at eBay now, and um, I just looked up potassium iodide. And uh, I found a supplier that sells um, uh, bottles of 120 tablets, and they have more than 10 available, and uh, they've sold 51. Now, I just clicked on the... Uh, the 51 sold and it's just basically giving me information about um, who who bought them and when now ordinarily uh, this this is a, a health food shop online and they sell all sorts of supplements now ordinarily these guys are averaging about one or two bottles uh, sold a month and uh, there's there's records going way back to sort of November 2010 and um, <laughs> in the last 24 hours they have sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, getting on towards 20 bottles of this stuff whereas normally they're um, they're only selling you know one or two bottles a month. Um, now potassium iodide is uh, to do with radiation absorption by the body uh, now the, the way I understand it works is if you are facing some kind of a, a, a radiation situation like Chernobyl or potentially like this Japanese thing that's going on at the moment, um, this nuclear power station thing uh, happening in Japan, um, what you're supposed to do is take potassium iodine. I'm not giving medical advice here, this is just my understanding of it. Um, but if you take potassium iodine, what it does is it fills up your thyroid gland with um, iodine and it prevents your body from absorbing radiation and uh, apparently if you don't have this stuff it is a preventative thing that you take before exposure because apparently if you're exposed to radiation it gathers in in the thyroid gland um, and in order to prevent it the radiation reaching the thyroid gland you have to top it up with this potassium iodide and apparently once it's full of potassium iodide it won't then absorb the radiation um, there's a, probably a much more involved explanation of how that works, but that's that's my basic understanding of it. And it's just interesting that there are obviously a number of sort of forward-thinking, switched-on people who have thought, right, okay, um, potassium iodide. If if radiation, if we're going to have another Chernobyl, um, the first thing we need to do is stock up on potassium iodide. So a whole bunch of people have just gone out and bought this potassium iodide. So that was it. Just a quick, uh, quick little observation, really. Um, about people buying potassium iodide in case um, the Japanese reactor goes for worst case scenario. So there we go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.